we have dispositions of the variances. Ang tawag doon sa over applied overhead or kaya under applied overhead, ang tawag sa kanila variances. Tapos, merong ways of allocating them. When the costs are material or ano, ibig sabihin ng material, nagmamatter siya or malaking halaga siya para doon sa company or magiging lost siya kung, uh, kung hindi siya i-consider. So, kapag material, i-allocate mo siya sa uh, prorata basis with your ending balances ng finished goods inventory, work in process inventory, and cost of goods sold inventory. Tatlo lang, hindi kasama ang raw materials inventory. Tapos, kapag naman immaterial, i-dispose mo lang lahat ng variances na yon sa ating cost of goods sold. So, when we say under-applied, di ba nga, kulang yung in-apply mo. So, ang gagawin mo, mag-a-add ka ng under-applied na yon sa ating cost of goods sold. If ever, um, immaterial. Kung material naman, i-add mo yun, hahatiin mo yun, yung amount, then allocate sa ating cost of goods sold, finished goods inventory, and then work in process inventory. So, dito natin siya i-discuss. So, for, for the problem, we have at the end of uh, 2020, engineering company had the following account balances before closing any overhead variance. First, we have cost of goods sold, 768,000 pesos. Finished goods, 192,000 pesos. Work in process is 320,000 pesos. And then raw materials is 320,000 pesos. For the case number one, the manufacturing overhead cost control account has a debit balance of 40,000. When we say debit balance, ito yung actual overhead. Tapos, di ba, mag credit ka ng overhead control mo kapag mag apply ka ng overhead. So, ang, ang entry mo, applied manufacturing overhead debit, credit manufacturing overhead control, kaya nandito yung applied overhead mo. Usually, companies are using applied overhead kasi talagang this is recommended. No? Talagang ini-encourage ang use ng applied overhead para hindi mahirapan when it comes to timeliness. Yan. So, meron daw debit balance, 40,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung actual. Ibig sabihin, kapag debit balance, you have under-applied overhead. Mas malaki ang actual overhead mo, 40,000 yun. At December 31, 2020, any under- or over-applied overhead is considered immaterial. Lahat naman ng case, ang requirement is to determine the manner of disposing the under or over applied overhead. Pangalawa is to determine the adjusted balances of the relevant accounts after disposing the under or over applied overhead. 768,000 192 And then, 320,000. Disregard the raw materials. Wala siyang maitutulong here. So, sabi meron daw, ano, debit balance ang factory overhead control account. So, meron kang ulit under applied overhead. So, i-dispose natin siya sabi immaterial naman daw. Kaya, kay cost of goods sold na lang natin siya ilalagay. So, masasagot na nito yung first and second na requirement. We have under applied overhead of magkano? 40,000. Wala dito. Tapos, dito yung adjusted. Adjusted overhead of or adjusted cost of goods sold. This is our adjusted um, cost of goods sold. So 768, diba? Plus 40, we have 
Ayan. Plus 40 over uh, under applied. We have 808,000. So this is our adjusted. Ayan na yun. Adjusted na cost of goods sold. Wala ka namang i-adjust dito kasi nga, sabi, immaterial. Yung isang case, the Manufacturing Overhead Control Account has a debit balance pa rin of 40,000 pesos at December 31, 2020. But, any under or over applied overhead here is considered material. Next, we have Yung material naman. Ganun ulit. Cost of goods sold. We have finished goods and then work in process. Tapos ending. Balances. 768. 192.320. Add natin siya para makuha natin yung para sa prorata allocation natin. 768,000 plus 192 lang. At saka 320,000. We have 1,280,000. Total... 1,280,000 pesos. Then, iyan yung gagamitin natin. 768 over 1,280, 192, 320. Tapos, multiplied by 40. Lahat sila yan. We have 768. 1,280 multiplied by 40. Then, ito na yung share niya. 24,000 para kay cost of goods sold. Para naman kay finished goods. 192 1,280 6,000 pesos. Tapos, we have 320 over 1,280 times 40, 10,000 pesos. So, kung mapapansin nyo, their total is 40,000 pesos pa rin. Then, add na natin to sa kanilang ending balances para makuha natin yung adjusted na cost of goods sold. Finish goods and then work in process. We have 768 plus 24. 792. We have 192.000. One ninety two thousand plus six thousand that is one hundred ninety eight, right? And three hundred twenty plus ten, three hundred thirty. In mga adjusted. Next case, the manufacturing overhead control account has a credit balance of forty thousand pesos at December thirty one, twenty twenty. Credit balance. Take note. Any under or over applied overhead is considered immaterial. Credit balance, ibig sabihin, over applied. Tapos sabi, immaterial daw. Edi, dun ulit natin, it is post kay cost of goods sold. Magkano? 768. Hindi na natin isama yung dalawang balances since dito lang din naman mapupunta. So, 
40. So adjusted. I 728. Deduct lang natin. So ito yung tamang cost of goods sold na meron ka sa production mo. Last, the manufacturing overhead control account has a credit balance of 40,000 pesos at December 31, 2020. And any under or over applied overhead is considered material. Yung material amount naman ng yung uh, over applied overhead. So we have cost of goods sold magkano po? 768 tapos we have uh, finished goods 192 then we have work in process 320 same total pa rin, kagaya kanina, 1 million, 280. This is your total. Kaso lang, ang difference is, dapat, dapat isusubtract mo yung amounts. Same pa rin. Kunin natin yung fraction, 768, 1,280. Same din, ba? So, 24,000 pa rin to. Kaso lang, negative. Tapos, ito, 6,000. Ito, 10. Same with, um, yung kanina. So, ang adjusted... 768 minus 24. Try natin manual. Um, 744,000. Then, 192 minus 6, 186. 320 minus 10 is 310. These are the adjusted. Ayan. Ayan. Ayan na yung balances nila in the end.